Welcome to TLH Patterns. I am Pradeepa. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet a pair of knee warmers. Anyone with joint problem will know how these winters could be harsh on your joints, especially the knees. So these warmers are designed specifically to protect your knees. You can now make this in any size. These warmers are worked from bottom up. The ribbing part sits below the knee. So first you need to take a measurement of the part of the leg that is right below the knee. So mine is about uh, 13 inches and you will have to make the ribbing about 1 to 2 inches less than the actual circumference. But first we'll see what all we will need to make these warmers. I used about uh, 80 to 90 meters of uh, DK weight or uh, light worsted weight which is category 3 yarn and a 4 mm crochet hook. You can use any yarn and a suitable hook. You will also need a measuring tape. We are starting with the ribbing part. So first make a slip knot and then make 15 chains. Width of the ribbing is 2.75 inches approximately. If you are using a different yarn and hook, you can adjust the number of chains accordingly. I have worked the 15 chains. Now for the first row, make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then rest of the chains across. There will be 14 single crochets in this row. Chain 1 and turn and in this row you will work single crochets only into the front loops of each stitch. So you can see there are two loops, one front and one back. You will be working only into the front loops. The loop that is towards you is the front loop. So work single crochet in the front loop of each stitch across. You will have 14 stitches. I have completed this row. Now if you turn you can see this faint line that is visible on the right side. Chain 1 and now work single crochet into the back loop only. In this row you are going to work single crochet only into the back loop of each stitch. In every row you will have the same number of stitches. Now you will repeat the last two rows that is working into the front loops only and back loops only alternately. Repeat these two rows alternately until the length of the ribbing is about 1 or 2 inches less than the actual circumference of the part of leg that is just below your knee. So here is my completed ribbing part. You can see the ridges on the right side. And now the circumference of my leg right below the knee is about 13 inches. So I have made this ribbing about 12 inches. So you can see the length is about 12 inches. It is 1 inch less than my actual circumference. Depending on how much stretch your ribbing has, you can make it about 1 or 2 inches less than the actual circumference. Now we'll join the ends together. Now fold this into half with the right side inside. Insert hook in the first stitch on the other end and pull yarn through the through both the stitches now join both the ends together by working single crochet into 
the stitches on both the sides. When you have done, pull the right side out. Now make one chain, this will not count as a stitch and work half double crochet across the circumference of the ribbing. You will work one stitch in each row. Um, so you can see those ridges and you will work one stitch in the ridge and one stitch between the two ridges so that makes a half double crochet in each row by ridges I mean the vertical lines that are prominent so you'll make a half double crochet in each ridge and a half double crochet in between two ridges it doesn't matter if you make one or two stitches more or less whatever number of stitches you get in this round follow it in rest of the rounds I am making a half double crochet in the ridge now and then you can see this is the next ridge and I will work a half double crochet in the space just before the ridge and then I will work a half double crochet in the next ridge next one in the space between the two ridges next one in the next ridge so continue this around Finally, make a slip stitch in the first stitch to join. Chain 1 and work half double crochet in each stitch around. Whatever your stitch count was in the previous round, maintain it in rest of the rounds. So continue working rounds of half double crochet until the total height is about uh, 6 inches. The height of the ribbing part is a little less than 3 inches. So when I measure it, the height is about 6 inches and of course this can be adjusted according to your size. Now we will work the cuff. Start with chain 1 and then work a double crochet in each stitch around. So this chain 1 will not count as a stitch. In this round you will work double crochet in each stitch. At the end of the round, join with the slip stitch to the first double crochet at the beginning. Work chain 1 and start the next round. Here we are going to work front post double crochet and a double crochet alternately. So to make the front post double crochet, yarn over, take the hook around the post of the stitch and now pull the yarn through the post and then yarn over and pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops now make a double crochet in the next stitch then a front post double crochet in the next stitch yarn over and take the hook around the post of the next stitch pull yarn through the stitch through the post of the stitch then yarn over, pull through two loops, again yarn over and pull through two loops. 
now make a double crochet in the next stitch so alternate working front post double crochet and double crochet in each stitch around Finally, finish the round by working a slip stitch in the first stitch. Now the final round, chain 1 and work front post double crochet in each front post double crochet and a double crochet in each double crochet around. Finally, finish the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch at the beginning of the round and cut the yarn off that's it your knee warmer is now ready make one more if you like this pattern please give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel thank you